on back-to-back days, I read articles in the Chinese newspaper about how we kind of need to accept COVID-19 and just accept it because, because it's, it's, it's already beat us. And, um, the article yesterday in the Hong Kong newspaper, uh, was about how, um, more people die in car, will buy, die in car accidents this year than from COVID-19. And so, um, why aren't we so concerned about car accidents, but we're so concerned about COVID-19. And I think that's partially because people like me and senior citizens and, um, other people, in other words, people that have pre-existing conditions like asthma, like I had asthma when I was growing up. So I, I have a very high chance of dying compared to other people. Um, we don't want to die. And, um, but at the same time, um, some of us think there's no way to beat this thing because, uh, we're trying to do a middle of the road approach. We got Donald Trump who announces, I'm thinking about quarantining New York, which is like, Hey guys, um, I just want you to know, run, get out of your city as fast as possible. This is your last chance to get out of the city. Um, so, but then, but then he doesn't quarantine New York, which is that I'm just saying that's a stupid idea. I mean, sometimes you have, sometimes you think you're doing the right thing and then you do a wrong thing. Kind of like in India, they're, um, they have this lockdown that is so hard to enforce because they have over a billion people. And then all these people from the city are fleeing to the villages, which means that if the, if COVID-19 is in the city, it's about to go to the villages. And so it's kind of like, Hey guys, spread out the virus. Um, so here's the deal. It's going to take two years for me at the earliest, the earliest I could get a vaccine is two years. Um, I read an article yesterday that said that it, that some vaccines take 10 years to develop. And then all the other articles I've read are saying like three to five years. And so, um, if we are lucky and we, and, and someone is that successful, we'll have one in two years, but even then, uh, mass production of a vaccine is going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be so difficult. So, um, I think a lot of us are saying, okay, we're going to destroy the economy, but then we're not going to fix anything. And none, no one wanted to listen to John Alexander when he said we should lower the speed limit for cars to save oil. But then we have to stay housebound indefinitely. But then if we lowered the speed limit, we would save almost as many lives as we'd save by staying home right now during COVID-19. Um, so it's just, you are neither hot nor cold. You are lukewarm, therefore I will spit you out of my mouth, is pretty much what I would say to the American government. And I would say the same thing to everyone else. And um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. What I do know is that there is no getting rid of this thing until there's a very successful vaccine, which means it's a vaccine that's based on the current mutation of the virus. So if the virus mutates, we're going to have to develop a new ma vaccine. So it's just... I think that a lot of us believe that we're throwing good money at bad money. We're throwing bad, wait, yeah. We're, we're throwing, we're destroying our economy for nothing because it's not doing anything. And that's not me, but it is. But that's because Donald Trump doesn't want to quarantine New York because all the New Yorkers will be pissed. You got Andrew Cuomo, who's America's governor, who's got the biggest outbreak, but then he doesn't want to quarantine in New York. So he's definitely not America's governor, he's New York's. Because we need a quarantine of New York. And then you can write in Politico, a quarantine in New York won't work. Are you from New York? It, it doesn't matter. We need to, like, if you actually want to stop this thing, you need to quarantine everywhere that you find it. And um, we're finding it too many places. So, I don't know. I, I think the problem is that we're neither hot nor cold. And um, 
I think the other problem is that we're not honest. No one wants to be honest about the problem. And um, I think the other problem is that some people believe that if they have magical crystals, they can stop coronavirus. That's what the president of Mexico is doing. He's He's got magic crystals, so he doesn't have to worry about the coronavirus. And then there's the guy in Zambia. Is that where it is? Zambia, the president of Zambia, who's saying um, coronavirus is of the devil. And if you have Jesus in your heart, then... You, the coronavirus can't beat you and therefore we should not shut down our churches that's I, I think it was Zambia where is it the, it's on the border of Congo I don't know or maybe it's on the border of Somalia I think it's on the border of Congo um, so what I'm saying is we're screwed like we, we are screwed no matter what but some of us and I'm sure there are a lot of you out there we don't have a choice. We've got to be quarantined for two years because if I get if I get coronavirus, I'm dead. I mean, I, my lungs are my my lungs are my weakest thing. Probably Lil Wayne. If he gets coronavirus, he's dead. Um, he's wheezy. He's got he's a, he's like an asthma guy. So I don't know. 